Okay, folks, this is Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, company from Beckley's Camping Center. Today, we're going to talk to you about the new 150 series by Grand Design. This is the reflection. Now, if you're looking for a fifth wheel that is under 30 foot uh, in length, under 10,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating, this is one floor plan that you should take a look at. This is the 230 RL, meaning a rear living room. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the off door side and show you your service center area, how easy they make it for you to hook these things up. As you can see, your sewer hookup is out. It's not underneath the slide out, makes it easy. Notice how you have your poles for the gray tank and the black tank, they're above the floor. Keeps them, so this is excellent as far as, if you're looking for that extended camping seasons, you can do that. You've got two gray tanks, one black tank. You're gonna have a black tank uh, rinse on this one. Of course, your city water, and of course, your winterizing so forth for that as well. Notice how much uh, storage you have inside here. Also, notice how open it is. We don't have pipes and so forth coming through there. This is a 50 amp coach, and I'll show you why when we get inside. This is a heated area. Nice thing that I like about how these doors uh, open and close is notice it has a magnet. Makes it easy so that if you have, if you have one hand, you're holding something, it's not gonna be in your way. Of course, this is gonna have um, solar, uh, it's already pre-wired for solar charge if you wanted to. Front storage in that area. You can have your awning, outside stereo speakers on this side. As we come to the back, you'll see you have a ladder, which is nice. And a ladder to get up on top. It's already pre-wired for the rear camera. And notice how you have also the bumper. So if you wanna you know, put a bike back there or uh, hide your sewer hose, you can. So let's take a look as we go inside. Three steps. And you ha do have a, an assist handle coming in. So as you see, as you come in, this is gonna be a U-shaped dinette slide out with the refrigerator. So that makes kind of a big, um, big slide out. That's about a seven foot across dinette. So it makes for a nice double bed for additional sleeping if necessary. I'm gonna pan through here, just kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at. So you can see there's your kitchen. See the ceiling here. You do have a power vent fan for your kitchen. That way there you can open up that window over there when you're cooking. It's underneath the awning, so it doesn't matter if it's raining. Have a cover on the, on the power vent fan, and that'll pull whatever you're cooking here right on through and out of here. So you can see nice storage there. Storage under here. AM, FM, CD, stereo with a DVD player. Nice, large TV. And then let me just kind of scan to the back here, let you see what, what it looks like in the back. So you see as you can, as you come in the door, you're gonna have your nice big uh, theater seating recliners, drink cup holders on either side of the seat, which is nice and cabinets up above, motion sensing lighting. Um, nice thing with these uh, chairs, you have a, a light, you have massage and heat on, e on either side. So as you come in the door also, you're gonna notice this is where your control center is. You can see uh, checking all your levels, turning your ceiling lights on, step light, water pump, putting your awning out, awning light, porch light, your slide out, everything right here as well as your water heater. So everything in one place, so you're not having to look around and see, okay, where is everything? See, of course, you're gonna have the Dometic refrigerator. That one is gonna be both uh, propane and 110. Just your typical one, and it does have the temperature control right on it. Notice how our steps going up into the into the bedroom there are not are not, they're not carpeted, which is nice. Take a look, plenty of kitchen counter space, and look at a nice large kitchen sink. And of course, you do have the pull out for the um, high rise for your faucet there window three burner cooktop, nice large oven. So you have plenty of things. Of course, you're gonna have the microwave oven. Storage up above if you wanted to, above your cabinets. 
So you see, this is the kitchen and living area. So let's go take a look as we're going up the steps. As you notice, the one big thing as you're going up the steps is the bathroom door. It is a pocket door. Nice thing with that, you don't have to walk by it to before you open it. It can be open and it's not in your way. So you have your counter with your sink, plenty of storage in that, medicine cabinet up above. And then of course you have the nice large shower there with the skylight. Of course the upgraded um, shower head. And this does have the um, spring loaded and it does have a wipe way to wipe everything off for your shower door. See of course you have foot pedal toilet, your towel holder in here. So this is the bathroom. Going to give you an idea of floor space and so forth. Now let's take a look at the bedroom. So as the bedroom you're going to get a true uh, queen bed and again you're going to have a pocket door. The nice thing again the pocket door is not in the way whether it's open or closed so forth. You can put a TV up in here on a swivel arm if you wanted to. Storage up above the bed. You're going to have 110 outlets on either side of the bed as well as on the one side you're going to have the USB ports. Of course lighting um, on either side of the bed. You'll have lighting on the ceiling and then if you wanted to you could add a second AC back up here and that is the reason why it is 50 amp. Also in the in the bedroom here, nice big window on that side, and then look at you have additional storage up here. One thing I, I love about how Grand Design does things, look at how high that bed gets up out of the way. Most other fifth wheels, when you lift that bed, it is way down and you got to get on your hands and knees to get in there. I mean now I can step up on the side to get in, it makes it very easy for you to put things in. And it's not hard putting it back down like some as well. So this is kind of giving you the idea of what this bedroom looks like. See so you have a window on either side, pocket door, as you can see. Just kind of give you, give you an idea of what you're looking at in here. So this is a nice smaller fifth wheel. Um, it is possible that if you have a heavy duty half ton pickup with the proper um, proper specs that you could tow this as well. You may not need a three quarter ton. So this is again the rear living room. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I appreciate you watching. For any questions on this particular model or any other RVs Please do remember to ask for Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, when you call, if you email, or if you stop by, just ask for the Air Force guy, and I'll be more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching, and we'll come back at you again shortly.